Hello guys, it's currently the 28th of January, okay, but this is Christmas food, okay, which is now out of date, okay, so this is, uh, it's a six winter berry and custard crumble pies, tart, tart crumble tart, sorry, um, let's turn the pom pom, there you go, and the expiry date is the 9th of January, and there's a twist in this what in what i'm going to show you in a moment but don't worry um and here we have some winter berry and custard crumble tarts as i said if i look at the back um it says six winter berry and custard crumble tarts introducing mr kipling's signature collection a combination of mouth-watering flavors in mr kipling's most Renowned recipes to create a range of delicious ingredient cakes. Oh, it's just a waffle. Yep, okay. Whether it's treating yourself or sharing with friends, the signature collection brings a special moment to every day. Discover the Mr. Kipling signature collection winter berry and custard crumble tarts. Crumbly Mr. Kipling pastry with a dollop of spiced winter berry filling, covered with a layer of creamy custard and finished with a crunchy butter crumble. Uh, essentially reading through the waffle on this it is basically um, cranberries got diced cranberries it's got diced apple somewhere I think I saw blackberry Yeah, it's got blackberry puree. Mm. Yeah. It's got a whole load of waffle anyway. As to what they are, okay? And... You can recycle most of it. I'm just going to show you before I open it. You can recycle most of it apart from the film this is the, what they call the film bit the see-through plastic which you meant to take to a supermarket to do so now guys I'm going to open it okay it's all right I'm going to open it and I'm going to take it out and here you can see through the paper and now I'm going to do a magic trick Woo! Abra Kadabra. The mit the pies will the tarts will disappear. Abra Kadabra. Woo We probably think, what the hell am I talking about? They're still there. Nothing has happened. What is magic about that? Well, if I now open it and lift it out as if by magic you will notice two of the two of the tarts have now disappeared. So there you go, guys. A magic trick. Um, two of the once I move my hands when woo. Um, two of the two of the tarts disappeared. Okay. Now the reality is I'd actually I would straight with you guys. I couldn't wait. And earlier I actually opened them up a while back. And actually ate a couple. But I did eat them when they were actually out of date anyway. But I just didn't get around to a video on it. And it's making a mess everywhere. So. I'm now going to eat one on camera. Okay. But they genuinely are out of date. They are the date they are. Really. I've not like twitched them or done anything like that. I think you guys know. Well now I do really eat out of date food. And. This is basically the um, butter crumble topping. And if I get this out a minute, and now see the tarts. If I break the tart roughly in half, and now notice there, you've got the 
mixture in the middle. What you'll notice is underneath the crumble, I'm going to wait. It's hard to see this, but you have got a very, like, very difficult to film this, hopefully. No, because there's just a very thin layer of custard underneath. It's very, very, very thin. So thin you wouldn't even notice it. So I'm going to have to mix on the crumble. Otherwise, it just goes absolutely everywhere. And if you look, you'll notice there's some of the custard, some of the sticky stuff. The sticky stuff, the yellow sticky stuff is the custard, okay? And underneath all that is the darker things. It's meant to look like a mince pie, but it isn't a mince pie. Um, and just said, it's basically... Um, they do do something similar. They do a blackberry and apple normally during the rest of the year. This is only available at Christmas, to my knowledge, uh, because generally things with cranberry and and then you're really available at Christmas. Okay, over here, um, you might be able to buy crumbs themselves all year round. I don't know, but cranberry food is generally Christmas related, and once Christmas is over, which it is now, um, it isn't. Um, so there you go. Uh, currently, the 28th of January, and um, today, there's a new story about an airline called Flybee that's gone bankrupt. Um, there's recently a story about a, five black police officers killing um, a black um, man during an arrest, which... And the police officers are now going to be charged for it because they feel that um, the police officers behaved abominably. Um, I haven't seen the footage of it yet, but there, somebody called Tyre Nichols was the victim um, of the police brutality. There's a story about the wife of um, Wales's first minister dying um, today. And I couldn't have known any of these things, and is there anything else? Oh yeah, and also about, um... And it's also, uh, as I still occasionally follow tennis, I didn't watch it this time, but sometimes I have. There was a story recently about, um... I'm not sure I can pronounce this right, but uh, Anya, Anya Sabalenka has basically won the, um, uh, uh, that's a woman by the way, has won the um, Australian Open, so she's won the Women's Australian Open Tennis Championship, okay? And Djokovic will be in the final. For the men's, I'm not sure if it started yet, but I know that he's in the final for the men's. So, and there's some controversy about Dokovic apparently, as a dad, apparently um, being associated with a Russian flag and Russian supporters, and or something like that. I don't know, I've just heard some sort of rumour, something like that. I don't understand it, probably haven't read the story yet properly, but anyway, so don't sue me if it's wrong, okay. That's to Dokovic himself, if he, by some magic, comes across this video and decides to sue me if I'm wrong go out it. Anyway, um, that's just to prove that it really is the 28th of January today. And I'm not going to put more of it, so there you go. If you look here, you can see more of what they call the custard in it. This part, it's got... And the yellow stuff, which is what they call custard, and with the bag comes on the top. Now, I'll be totally honest with you. Um, I don't think it's out of deck, so I've had this before. I'm not a massive fan, I'll be honest. Um, I think we need to prioritise better.
I truthfully got this, um, um, in fairness, um, I did give one of these to my mum when it was in date, um, but the rest I actually ate after it was out of date, one, one more after it was out of date, and I gave it to her and I had a teeny bit of it, and then I was going to give him some more and then, there was other things for her to have, and I truthfully forgot about it and put it in the, in the cupboard. And I don't give my mum out of date food, so um, very rarely. I mean, you know, I might occasionally give her something like this one day out of date or something, and she knows about it, you know, very rarely. But, um, you know, something like an apple turnover, which is one day out of date, won't make much of a difference. But I wouldn't give her anything like a month out of date. I, I'll t I'm not willing to, to risk her life, I'll risk mine. Well, it's safe, but she doesn't want to eat outdated food generally, so I'm, I don't give her it. I don't care personally about my health, that's my choice, you know. So, but I must admit, I was disappointed in it. I thought it would taste better. She actually liked it. I truthfully don't really, if I'm honest, but which is a waste because really she wanted them and I forgot about it and gave her other things. And then we, we thought we'd have it a bit later, and then by the time I did, it was about several weeks out of date. But never mind, so. I did have one, another one recently, when it was out of date, just to check that it was edible. Um, it hadn't gone green or anything. And I just wanted to pick it apart, you know. And I thought I'd do a video of them to show you guys, okay? No, it's not because it's out of date, it's because I'm not a massive fan. It might be the cranberry, I don't know, but... I just think it tries to be... Lots of things, and it doesn't really end up being anything, unfortunately. That's the problem with it, you know. It's a kind of too many cups for the broth, you know. And that's how I feel about it. So, I'll be honest, unless my mum wants some desperately next year, if I do it next year, um, I wouldn't personally bother for me. Mm. And it's got generally a sour taste, and, um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, uh, there are better things to get, there's apple turnovers with custard you could have, more things you could have, which will taste better in my view than this, but, I'm not saying they've done it badly, or anything like that, I think they've just tried to, um, do a marketing exercise of Creating something with lots of things in it that look good, like it's got custard in it, it's got cranberries in it, it's got apples in it, you know, it's got blackberries, it looks it looks it like it would be taste good, but to me it just doesn't really work together. Um, if I'm honest. And it's not because of the date, because I did just said have a bit of one. And I gave this to my mum because he liked it, when it was in date, so I, you know, and I wasn't that impressed to be honest, but there you go. But it's because she told me she'd heard about them on the radio or the TV, I forget, and um, I, didn't, I thought she was probably talking rubbish to be honest. And because um, she said they got custard in. And I thought, what the hell are they talking about? You know, she was talking about, I thought maybe she just got muddled up or she thought somebody eating it with custard. But no, she apparently, I think it was someone on the radio was talking about it. So, and um, so she. Um, Tell me about it. And I just didn't, and then I saw it in Tesco's. I saw this in Tesco, okay. So I I think it was Tesco, and um, so I got it, okay. But I wish to admit I'm a bit disappointed. My mum thought it was okay, but I truth I'm not a fan, if I'm honest. There's far better things for Christmas. Um, and I paid the proper price for this, full price for this. So I didn't get this in a bargain or anything like that. You know, I got it purely because I'd never seen anything like it before. Well, I've seen things similar, you know, because I know it, they do things like apple and blackberry um, pies, you know. But I'm not seeing with it with the cranberry in and with the custard in, so I just wanted to see what it was like. Anyway, guys, there you go. Um, winter berry and custard crumble tart. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.